You're traveling through space, trying to get through an especially rough patch. You gotta dodge asteroids, space debris, wandering black holes. Now, it's not an episode of a sci-fi series, at least not completely. For the first time ever, astronomers have found a black hole that's completely alone, drifting through space with no stars or planets nearby. This black hole is about 5,000 light years away from us in our own Milky Way galaxy. Do we need to look for a hero with superpowers to save Earth? First things first, a black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that nothing, not even light, can get out of this region. The gravity is so strong there because a huge amount of matter is squeezed into a tiny space. Supermassive black holes, hundreds of thousands to billions of times the mass of our Sun, are often found at the centers of galaxies. Most of them stay put or move at a very, very slow pace. But the newly discovered black hole is much weirder than anything we've seen before. First of all, it tries to avoid commitment. It's lonely, with no companion star or home galaxy. An even stranger thing is that it's zooming through space at a speed of 31 miles per second. What might be the reason for this speedy cosmic journey? Let's look at the following imaginary scenario. One day, a really massive star exploded in a supernova. It was the very star that formed our black hole. The resulting blast gave the new black hole a massive kick and sent it flying through the galaxy, starting its unbelievable voyage. Now, it's only one of a few possible explanations, but it sounds quite plausible. I bet you can't help but think, what if this wandering black hole decides to visit our solar system? Are we doomed? Scientists tell you to relax and breathe out. This black hole is very far away, and your chances of ever encountering it are infinitesimal, if any. Plus, this black hole is totally quiet and dark at the moment. One day, it might wake up and start glowing. It'll happen if it begins to eat something. In the near future, powerful new telescopes may find many more wandering black holes like this one. Usually, black holes are super hard to find because they don't give off any light. You can only detect them when they're eating nearby matter. That makes them glow brightly. Or when they have a companion star. In this case, it moves in a strange way, which gives away the presence of a black hole. But this newly discovered black hole is lonely, totally by itself. There's no glowing, no companion star moving hectically. So, how did scientists spot our cosmic wanderer? They used something called gravitational microlensing. That's when the black hole's gravity bends and magnifies the light from a star located behind it, kind of like using a magnifying glass, hence the name. This method allowed scientists to detect the black hole even though it was completely dark. All in all, black holes are fascinating things, and some of them are truly unique, like these biggest black holes ever found. You see, almost every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center. They're huge, with masses millions to billions of times bigger than our Sun. One of those is called Tun 618. It's a really huge and powerful black hole that's part of something called a quasar, a super bright spot in space emitting incredible amounts of energy. Tun 618 is very, very far away, about 18.2 billion light years from Earth. And it's 40 billion times heavier than our Sun. There are also black holes that feed on their own kind. Black holes are known for devouring anything that gets too close. And this anything can include not only stars and gas, but also other black holes. Scientists witnessed a ginormous black hole at the heart of one galaxy being swallowed by an even larger black hole in another galaxy. It was the first time we detected such an event. The discovery was made using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. One black hole weighs about 30 million times the mass of the Sun, while the other has at least 1 million times the mass of the Sun. Then there is a bullet-shooting black hole. Apparently, black holes don't just swallow matter, 
they can also shoot it out. For example, astronomers studied one relatively small black hole, which is about 28,000 light years from Earth and weighs between 5 to 10 times the mass of the Sun. And they saw how this black hole pulled matter off a companion star and then blasted some of it out in the form of huge bullets of gas. These bullets are super fast. They move at nearly a quarter the speed of light. Some black holes spin incredibly fast, twisting space around them at extreme speeds. One example is a black hole located in the constellation Aguila, about 35,000 light years from Earth. This black hole spins at a staggering speed of more than 950 times per second. If you could place an object on the edge of this black hole's event horizon, it would spin around the black hole at 333 million miles per hour. That's nearly half the speed of light. The smallest black hole discovered so far has been nicknamed the Unicorn. Located 1,500 light years away from Earth, it's around three times the mass of our Sun. This makes it very close to the smallest possible size for a stable black hole. While black holes themselves are far away and difficult to study directly, scientists find new clever ways to study their properties right here on Earth. They've been able to recreate certain features of black holes in the lab. For example, black holes have a gravitational pull so strong that nothing, including light, can escape once it crosses the event horizon. To understand this better, researchers have created an artificial event horizon using fiber optics. They've also been able to simulate Hawking radiation, the kind that likely escapes black holes by setting up experiments in the lab. These lab-created mini black holes help scientists understand the mysterious properties of real black holes. There are several types of black holes, and each of them is born in its own unique way. Primordial black holes are believed to have formed right after the Big Bang, when the universe was very young. Stellar black holes form when a massive star collapses in on itself. This causes a supernova, where the outer layers of the star explode into space, and the core turns into a black hole. As for supermassive black holes, they're thought to have formed alongside the galaxies they're in. The size of the black hole is usually related to the size and mass of the galaxy. Despite what many believe, black holes don't roam the universe randomly, looking to swallow planets. They obey gravity like anything else in space. So, for a black hole to affect Earth, it would have to be very close, much closer than any black hole is to us right now. Even if a black hole the same mass as the Sun replaced our Sun, Earth wouldn't fall into it. The black hole would still have the same gravity as the Sun, and Earth would continue orbiting it just like it orbits the Sun today. It would get much colder though, so we wouldn't survive such a replacement in any case. But don't worry, our Sun will never turn into a black hole. It doesn't have enough mass to do so. Instead, in about 5 billion years when the Sun reaches the end of its life, it will become a red giant star. After using up its fuel, it will shed its outer layers, creating a glowing ring of gas called a planetary nebula. What's left will be a cooling white dwarf star. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.